Phase 3 of 2024 Lok Sabha elections is going to take place on May 7, where 94 seats will go to polls in 13 states and union territories. Initially, there were 95 seats, but the polling dates for Anant Nag has been shifted to May 25. All the seats in Goa, Gujarat, Daman and Diu, and Dadar and Nagar Haveli will go to polls in this phase, and there will also be important contests in Maharashtra, Karnataka, and Uttar Pradesh. BJP has continued its winning streak in Phase 3 seats. In 2009, BJP had won 47 seats, which increased to 67 in 2014 and 72 in 2019. The party's vote share was also very high in these seats. The party secured more than 40% vote share on 78 seats. In contrast, Congress victory declined from 27 seats in 2009 to 9 in 2014 and just 4 in 2019. So now let's talk about the stronghold seats. Of the 94 seats, 47 are stronghold seats, which means that only one party has retained these seats in the last three Lok Sabha elections. BJP has 42 such seats, mostly in Gujarat and Karnataka. Congress has only one such seat and other parties have four stronghold seats. While there are stronghold seats, there are also swing seats, which means that no party has ever continued its victory in these seats. There are 12 such seats in phase three. These swing seats are Araria, Barpeta, Chikori, Durg, Kolapur, Korba, Madhepura, Murshidabad, Raichur, Sambhal, South Goa, and Supal. So now let's talk about the clean sweep seats. The clean sweep seats are those where the winner won by more than 40% victory margin in 2019 elections. There are seven such seats of which four, Navsari, Surat, Vadodara and Gandhinagar are in Gujarat and the remaining three are Fatehpur Sikri in UP, Uttar Kannada in Karnataka and Vidisha in Madhya Pradesh. Notably, BJP had won these seven seats. While there are clean sweeps, there are also close contests. There are six seats where the winner won by less than 3% victory margin. These were Firozabad and Badayu in UP, Kokrajhar in Assam, Korba in Chhattisgarh, South Goa and Malda South in West Bengal. Congress had won in Malda South, South Goa and Korba, while BJP had won in Firozabad and Badayu. An independent candidate had won from Kokrajhar. Notably, voter turnout has remained low in the first two phases of the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. The decline in women's voter turnout has been greater than that of men. It will be interesting to note if the trend of low voter turnout continues or voters in large numbers come out of their homes to cast vote in the phase 3 of this Lok Sabha elections.